Are you guys ready to take on Borussia Dortmund in the Europa League quarterfinals? Because that's what we're doing today. Here we go, guys. Away at Eintracht Frankfurt in the Bundesliga. Away at Borussia Dortmund in the Europa League. Home to Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga. Home to Borussia Dortmund in the Europa League. And then we finish off the month of April with an away, va away, match, away match at FSV Mainz. Yeah, we play Borussia Dortmund three matches in a row. This is the Bundesliga table. We are seven points behind Bayern Munich. We drew our last game, if you remember, with Borussia Mönchengladbach. We probably should have won it, but we didn't. So, we are seven points back with seven matches to play. Leipzig is six points behind us. Uh, then we have Bayer Leverkusen, who's eight points behind us. VFL Wolfsburg is uh, nine points behind us. And Frankfurt is also nine points behind us. I don't think those clubs are catching us, but it would still be nice to beat them because there's still a chance that we could catch Bayern Munich. There is, It's a slim chance, but but it, there's still a chance. Now, we've played Frankfurt before, and we know their lineup, guys. It is Mario Gotze. It is Jakic and Shkiri. Shkiri is a very good player. And Gankam on that right-hand side. Alidu on the left-hand side. Pacho on Gwene. Buongiorno as the back three with Kevin Trapp in nets. And Sanabria is up front as well with Beltran. Now, us, unfortunately, we are very, very depleted, guys. It is Mihaila, Bobby Golatzel, and Rooney Bargi that will start. They have some energy. Volpato and Bucha and Rice in the midfield. Bradaric, Valentini, O'Shea, Yasic, and Lunin in the sticks. And this is because, like, there's just so many games going on. We don't have enough fitness. We just... Just, we just can't catch up. Like, guys like Broya, he, he, they can't play. Chalonoglu can't play. The Van Noman can't play. Both of our starting center backs and Hatsi Kadunic and Ta are absolutely exhausted. Those guys can't play. They can't even be substitutes. Nicolas Pepe can't play. Solbakken can't play. So this is what we got to start against Frankfurt. We even have Nemeth on the bench as our backup striker. Andres Nemeth is our backup striker in this match. Tonkyun Yun is also on the bench. Bakari Jata is on the bench. It's not a great lineup, but we're hopeful to get three points here. Welcome to the Deutsche Bank Park. It is Frankfurt versus Hamburg. I mean, and if they beat us, I understand we got nine points on them, but that gap can be six. It's a big game. I mean, every game is a big game right now. Every match is big for us. It's it's definitely looking less likely that we're gonna win the Bundesliga, but we can still win the Europa League, guys. We are in the final of the Pokal. Don't forget about that. We beat Leipzig in a dramatic fashion, and we're there. So now it's time to focus on the Bundesliga and see if we can do something here. Inside! Inside again to... Who's that? Bucha. It is Bucha. Volpato. Oh, it's a heavy touch. We wanted to get it on his left leg, but we just... He just took a heavy touch. And got come. Nice pass to Gotze. Gotze. Lunin is there again. Again. What? Penalty. Daro O'Shea gives away. Where's the penalty? What penalty? For what? You gotta be kidding me, man. FC24 has to fix these penalties, man. This is awful. What a terrible call. Beltron versus Lunin. Absolute garbage. Garbage. We're gonna go back to the box. A usual play and Mihaila will collect it. And Mihaila, please, man. Please. Wow. That is just as bad as it gets. And Gakum. Nice play by Bradaric. Bradaric is also very tired. But we have to play him because... I mean, we have Muheim, but Muheim is... I mean, he's Muheim. 71 rated Muheim, so... Nice play. Nice give and go. Can we pick out Bobby? Bobby! Oh, Bobby with the post hitter! Oh, usually clinical. To be fair, it was... it was That was a tough finish. It was a tough finish, and he did do well. Very, very nice play as Kevin Trapp will go long once again. Like, I feel like we've been the better side as halftime is called. I don't know. Like, that penalty call just... So disheartening, you know, it's 1-0. Well, the second half is underway. Are we going to make changes? Probably. Are they going to help us? I'm not sure. Alidu. Alidu will turn. Alidu will lose the ball. It's not a foul. This referee has it against us. We got the ball. Oh, man. Tough calls. Tough calls in this match, guys. Very, very tough calls. Yasage does... Well, like, this is... We're not going to win the Bundesliga. We're not winning the Bundesliga, guys. Our lineup was too depleted. It's, it's too hard. It's 2-0. We've made five changes. Nemeth is on, as you can see. Laszlo Benes is on. Muhain came on for Bradaric. We need two goals here. I don't know if we can get them. Mihaila does excellent on that left-hand side. But, but again, it's just not there. Tonkyon Yun is also on, on the right-hand side for us, guys. They're carrying it forward. And uh, the ball skips by our... 3-0. I mean, we're just... What what happened in this game? It's clear that our, our backup lineup is just no match for, for Frankfurt. Changes in the Bundesliga for the next season, if we have a next season, will be needed. That's all I'm gonna say. Changes will be needed. 
Tung Hyung Yun does excellent as 90 minutes is called and we take a heavy loss we get absolutely smacked and annihilated away at frankfurt three nil from taking a heavy loss in the bundesliga guys we now have to shift to the europa league the round of 16 against borussia dortmund they have a very strong side romelu lukaku is up front adeyemi bruno Fernandez, sabitzer otavio thomas Partey, doyle sule edgar hakimi and Kobel in nets can we beat this side in two legs i don't know but what i do know is our starting 11 is healthy and fit and ready for the challenge guys it is lavia that starts over Ludovic Rice though just a small change and Solbakken will come in for Rooney Bargy but Solbakken is still a good player so he deserves to be in the starting lineup it's not a drop off whatsoever we travel to Dortmund with hopes and dreams guys to somehow beat them and progress to the semi-finals of the Europa League leg one leg one this is it Dortmund is coming in Hamburg is coming in both clubs know what's on the line we are ready for the challenge but so is Borussia Dortmund clearly it's obvious that Borussia Dortmund is in yellow and we are in our blue the big yellow wall will be a challenge for us they're gonna be the 12th man for Borussia Dortmund they are loud they are proud we see Pepe though we'll play it to Pepe and one touch it to Chaka Ch Chaka Noglu Chala Noglu and then Armando Broya he could be in Broya oh my it's a stunner it's a stunner here early on our traveling fans are going absolutely nuts broya strong fast held off nicholas shule and put it right past kobel several chances for dortmund but we're the ones that score first otavio or otavio sorry shule almost gave the ball away thomas Partey. bruno Bruno does well for them. Drop it off to Lukaku. No mistake. They're going to pick up the ball. They're going to want more goals. This game is just starting. What a wild one we got here. Lukaku on his left foot. He'll never miss from there. We'll go to Pepe. Nice touch. One touch with Hakan Chalanoglu. And he can carry in here. Hakan. Broya! What a save! What a save! Solbakken will cut inside. Solbakken to Broya. Broya. Broya's got some space, actually. He, he does not. No. No space. Lavia and Broya are playing tic-tac-toe. Ferai. Ferai has to go back. That's going to be halftime. What a 45 minutes we got here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know what's going to happen in the second half. Second half underway, and I'm actually very proud of our players, guys. I'm very proud. We wanted to come here. We wanted to stay in the match, and that's what we're doing. And Solbakken may be in. He is going to be in. He gets past the defender. Hakimi is just all over him. He's going to dink it into the box, but Kobel is there. I mean, why is there no foul ref there? Hakimi's literally pulling him back. Thomas inside again fernandez does well to get around pepe and fernandez could be in we just don't want to get put lukaku on his left foot bruno oh my lunin oh my lunin 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 we we love you we love lunin guys we absolutely love lunin and we're gonna take it with nicholas pepe the veteran we revived his career can he become the magic man for us once again he'll lay it off to hakan chalanoglu we'll play it back to broya traveling broya save Kobel. he collects what a match Hakimi. Oh, how did they get by? Jonathan Ta. No, no. Jonathan Ta caught up high. Sorry, guys. It's 2 1 Dortmund. Fedai, he can't get away from Hakimi. I told you guys, Hakimi will be, will be very, very tough to handle here. So is this Otavio guy. He's just, he's so good. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What can we do about that? Not a whole lot. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno is doing Bruno things. It is three unanswered from Dortmund, and we have fallen apart. I mean, maybe there's another opportunity here to get one back. Maybe. Not a foul. No, nothing. Kobel, he'll go long. 
93 minutes. 3-1 after the first leg against Borussia Dortmund in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. 3-1. Uh, yeah. Second leg. I mean, we're gonna be at home. We need two goals. That is what we need. We need two goals. We need a miracle. In our next episode, guys, we will finish off the quarterfinals of the Europa League where we have to face Dortmund twice in our next episode. Obviously, the next match is in the Bundesliga against Borussia Dortmund and then it is at home again against Borussia Dortmund, but in the Europa League and then we finish off the month of April against an away fixture against FSV Mainz. We've had some big matches, guys, and we can't win them all. I don't know if we can come back against Borussia Dortmund. We're down 3-1. But if you watched uh, the channel long enough, you know that we've made some uh, fairy tale runs. Yes, we have. If you remember our Bournemouth career mode where we were down to PSG going into second leg, leg two, and we beat PSG. We ended up beating them. I believe it was on penalties. Uh, somebody remember. Somebody correct me if I was wrong, but I believe it was on penalties. We, we tied it up. We were down by two or three going into the second leg, and then we beat them on penalties. So maybe we can do that. I don't know if we can. I can't promise you anything thing but i mean we're gonna try our best thank you guys for watching i'm sorry if it was a little bit of a disappointing episode two heavy losses today three nil to frankfurt three one to borussia dortmund not what i expected probably not what you expected but hey i give you the real stuff it's not always wins sometimes we cry together sometimes we lose together sometimes we smile together and yell together and cheer together it's a, a roller coaster of emotions and this is why i love career modes because this is what they provide they give you that type of feeling and i try to keep it as straight as possible with you guys i don't replay matches if we lose, we lose. We win, we win. Uh, you know, that's what it is. So I'll see you guys in the next episode or in the next video on the channel, which is probably tomorrow or the next day. All right. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Stay happy. Stay healthy, my friends. Always keep smiling, even when we're losing games. And I'll see you guys soon. All right. Peace, 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 peace.